Hello to everyone. In this video, we are going to be looking at a question that came in a competitive entrance examination into the National Advanced School of Post Telecommunications and ICT that is Suptik in Yaoundé. That's the 2021 session. The mathematics paper was divided into two exercises and a problem. Now, the problem was divided into three parts. But in this video, we are going to be solving just the part of the question of the problem, which was on the topic differential equations. Equation with solve the differential equation one y prime minus two y equal to x e to the x. So this was the main objective that um, we were supposed that the students who were writing were supposed to achieve in this problem. Now the examiners guided them on how to actually solve the, the, this differential equation by giving them some procedures. The first one was solve the differential equation so which is y prime minus two y equal to zero. Next, let a and b be two real numbers and let u be a function defined on arrow by u of x equal to that expression. The first part was to determine the values of a and b so that u is a solution of equation 1. The second was show that v is a solution of equation 2 if and only if u plus v is a solution of equation 1. And the last part, we are now asked to deduce the set of solutions of our original differential equation, differential equation 1. So let's dive straight away to the solution. The first part is asking us to solve the differential equation 2, which is y prime minus 2y equal to 0. y prime minus 2y equal to 0, and y being a function of x, it means dy by dx minus 2y is equal to 0. This means that dy by dx will be equal to 2y. So this identifies a first order differential equation where we can separate the variables and integrate both sides in order to explicit y as a function of x. So separating the variables, we have dy on y to be equal to 2dx. Integrating both sides, we have this, and integrating the left hand side, we have the lean of the absolute value of y. Integrating the right hand side, we have 2x. But since it is an indefinite integral, we include our constant of integration c. So, taking exponentials on both sides because we are trying to explicit y as a function of x, we get this. So, it means our absolute value of y according to the definition of e raised to the power, the lean of a function is that function to be equal to e to the 2x plus c. Now we can decompose e to the 2x plus c as this and not to make the solution to be too bulky, we can let k to be e to the c. It is still a constant, meaning our absolute value of y will be equal to k e raised to the power 2x. So y will be equal to plus or minus k e raised to the power 2x. So that was that for the solution of the first part of the equation. Now the second part, we are given an instruction. a and b are two real numbers and u is a function defined on r by u of x equal to this. Now we are asked in the first part to determine a and b so that u is a solution of equation 1. So what does it mean for u to be a solution of equation 1? It means u prime minus 2y is simply x e raised to the power x because equation 1, y is a solution for sure. So u being a solution, we simply replace u with, we simply replace y with u. Okay, so we need to look for this and then we equate to this and then we try to find the values of our real numbers a and b so u of x being equal to this it means u prime of x is simply differentiating this now we can use the product rule we keep e to the x constant and we differentiate ax plus b we get the first term we now keep ax plus b constant and we differentiate e to the x we have this so by so doing our u prime will be equal to a e to the x plus u because the term in yellow still identifies our u of x. So what is now u prime minus 2u? It is simply u prime, which is the term in yellow, minus 2u. So these are like terms, we can bring them together. So we have u minus 2u to give us negative u. Now we can replace back the expression of u, which is e to the x into ax plus b. Now we can try to expand this. Expanding, we can now group like terms together e to the x and e to the x is common so we have a so we have e to the x into a minus b and here we have x e to the x into negative a but now we are comparing this guy with this actually so we are comparing with x e to the x times one this question is one i'm just trying to indicate the one because it is going to help us at a certain point so now we see that in this expression we don't have this e to the x so we can simply introduce a certain zero because it is nothing. We can refer to it as nothing because zero times this is going to give us zero. So nothing is there. So by so doing, we 
um, try to equate corresponding entries together and we get a minus b to be 0 and negative a to be equal to 1 so it means negative 1 minus b will be equal to 0 because a is equal to negative 1 so we can say that our b is equal to negative 1 and our a is equal to negative 1 so our a and our b have the same value and able to prepare for your concours be it engineering or medicine on the DEFA platform it's a very prestigious platform where students all over the national territory get to prepare for competitive entrance examinations into the various professional schools in Cameroon. To do that, you go to Google and you type www.defarafic.com. The first thing to do is to create an account on, on the platform. The second thing to do is to register for the concours that you want to prepare. Registration for each concours is 10,000 francs whether medicine, engineering, or nursing, and all the rest. So to register for a concours is 10,000 francs. When you register for the concours, we are going to activate your account and you are going to start studying. Remember that the registration fee is to activate your account to, to begin studying, but you have an annual fee that you pay, which is 50,000 francs. So when you register for 10,000 francs, you'll be left with 40,000 francs to pay to complete the annual fee of 50,000 francs if you need help you can you when you go to the platform you you're going to see a whatsapp icon you can click on it and message us if you don't know how to go about it okay let's go, get to the second part of the equation which is to show that v is a solution of equation 2 if and only if u plus v is a solution of equation 1 so let's show the first part showing that if this is a solution of equation 2 then u plus v is a solution of equation 1 remember this is a double implication if and only if so it's under the topic logic on our platform that's tefa Africa. everything is explained detailly if you face problems with logic and mathematical reasoning you can get to our platform and your problem is going to be solved so to show the first part that's showing that v is a solution if u plus v is a solution now what does it mean for u plus v to be a solution of equation one it means i replace y with u plus v and i get this so let's try to find this guy u plus v prime minus two into u plus v it's simply u prime plus v prime minus two u minus two v so we try to group like terms together we have u prime minus two u plus v prime minus two v so it means u prime u plus v prime minus 2 into u plus v will be equal to this because u um u is a solution because we have u prime minus 2u in our previous question we saw that u is a solution of of this differential equation that is u was a solution of this differential equation so u prime minus 2 will be equal to x e to the x so we replace u prime minus 2u with this guy and we we are still left with v prime minus 2v okay so if v is a solution of equation 2 it means v prime minus 2v is equal to 0 so this guy here is equal to 0 so if this guy is equal to 0 then we are left with u plus v prime minus 2 into u plus v to be x e to the x which is what we need so by so doing we can say that this is a solution of this differential equation now the second part we are going to show that if u plus v is a solution of equation 1, then v is a solution of equation 2. So, we have the same thing, but now u plus v being a solution of equation 1, it means that our u plus v prime minus 2u of v will be simply x e raised to the power x. So, u plus v being a solution, it means this is valid so the left hand side we just replace with x e to the x the right hand side remains intact so we can subtract e to the x on both sides and we have v prime minus 2v to be equal to 0 which is saying that v is a solution of equation 2 because equation 2 is simply y prime minus 2y is equal to 0 so v prime minus 2v equal to 0 therefore means that v is a solution of equation 2 and we have succeeded in proving that the last part is to deduce the set of solutions of the of equation one i am not going to do this part 
I'm going to leave you guys to do the part and you comment your answer your various answers on the comment section and I'm going to reply to it if it is correct or wrong and then I'm also going to post the solution later for those who cannot deduce the solution the set of solutions of equation one with after following all these explanations it's very easy it is very clear but I leave the question to you to do it so if you love the video please like the video share the video to your friends who are preparing for national competitive entrance examinations into the various professional schools in Cameroon remember that the best preparation platform online to prepare for your concours is the TEFA AFRIC platform I previously showed you how to get access to the TEFA AFRIC platform you go to Google you type www.tefafric.com you create you create an account on the platform you register for your concours and you begin your preparation there is no more time to be saying I will I will because the more you say I will you won't actually so share the video to your friends invite them to subscribe to our youtube channel turn on all your post notifications so that whenever a video is being uploaded you'll be one of the first persons to view endeavor to comment your difficulties if you love the video also comment on the comment section thanks for your time and see you in the next video